again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 14th of March, 2019. Just read an interesting article on Vanity Fair, The Hive, written by Abigail Tracy. Quote, Ambition beyond being such a pathetic Secretary of State as the world burns and Trump unravels, Mike Pompeo is acting a lot like a guy running for president. This bloated hog. That's what he is. Like I said, Trump doesn't know how to pick people. Huh? With trips to Iowa, Kansas, and Texas, the Secretary of State is raising questions about his next act. Is he sketching out a plan for 2024 or positioning himself should Trump get indicted for 2020? You see a photograph of this worthless, bloated hog. He tries to make himself look like he's really something, huh? What has he accomplished with all of his travels back and forth to North Korea, other than gaining weight? <laughs> As diplomatic fires burn in Venezuela, China, and Saudi Arabia last week, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was touring Iowa and lining up visits to Texas and Kansas, his home state. The spate of domestic travel and the apparent focus on crucial battleground states has not gone unnoticed in a foggy bottom. Is Pompeo, a former congressman and Cock Network favorite, laying roots for a 2024 run? Or, more ambitiously, is the Trump psychopath positioning himself to swoop up Donald Trump's base for a 2020 bid? Should the president get impeached or indicted? I don't think Trump has much of a base left. He will not run in 2020 if he makes it that far. Diplomats I spoke with were bewildered. One State Department official said they were baffled somewhat by Secretary Pompeo's travel itinerary. Another lamented the timing, quote, so much going on around the world and he's traveling in the U.S.? Weird, they told me. Pompey clearly has political ambitions beyond being such a pathetic Secretary of State, said John Weaver, a longtime Republican political operative who serves as advisor to former Ohio Governor John Kasich. He was a backbench House member till he was plucked by Trump's band of low travelers. You know why he was plucked? Because he's an ass kisser. <laughs> I told you, all you got to do is kiss Trump's ass and you get a position. It's really that simple. I am not sure how he has the taste of what success could be. Hard to see him play politically beyond the borders of Kansas, though, Rick Wilson, another longtime GOP strategist. And like Weaver, a never Trumper echoed the sentiment. Quote, like a number of other people in Trump's orbit, he's trying to look past the current moment keep the Trump base thinking he's a true believer, and set himself up for the future, he said. Again, Trump doesn't have much of a base like he used to have. Why? Well, because he didn't do what he said he would do. Did he? You want to read the rest of the article? It's uh, somewhat interesting. Again, this Mike Pompeo is nothing but a bloated rat. That's all he is. He's accomplished nothing since he became the highest diplomat in America. Complete joke. That's sort of what I think. And you darn well know why I think what I think. The link will be attached. Thanks for listening.